So we're going to do another reading on the Mar Amari Nicholson case. Now, I'm going to do things. I'm going to try to go in at a different angle. I want to try to get more. Now, apparently with the last reading, there were some things that came through. Um, I do not feel the bio dad responsible. I'm going to look into that again. I just want to double check myself, okay? Um, the Morton that I was hearing, it was either Moortown or Morton is kind of what I was hearing. Apparently, there is a Morton Steakhouse very close, like down the street, from where these people were staying in a hotel. Okay, so that's good. So spirit came through with something. Um, but the one good thing about that, not that this is going to be good, okay, we know this is going to be bad, but is that he's most likely in the area. Now, I try not to go into web sleuth groups very much. I briefly went in just to kind of check some things. I did see a PM from the mother, somebody got a hold of somehow, where she was looking for a vehicle. Now, this kind of made a light bulb go off because I was feeling he may have been put in a dumpster is kind of my impression um, that if they don't have a vehicle, well, it would be kind of hard to take him very far away, okay? So that is most likely, that just kind of makes it more plausible that this is what's going on. Now, I'm not the only one who's feeling this. I have other readers in my group who are also feeling the same thing. And some of you on my YouTube, when you were commenting, were feeling the same thing too. So um, if a lot of people are feeling that, that's that's something to pay attention to. What I'm going to do is a little bit different here. Um, I have seen the interview this point. Prior to that, I did not. I did not want to watch any interviews. I did not want to see anything. I had one group post for my group. I had read no articles, just so you know. And I'm not going to be looking at my phone. A few people complain me looking at my phone. I'm not looking at my phone, okay? I just want I and this is the funny thing, is what I was reading it, everything's so confusing. Everything's so confusing. So when I saw the interview and the mom kept saying that, I know it's very confusing. I know it's very confusing, and then I'm like, no wonder I keep getting that every time I look at this thing is that, you know, she was, you know, I think they're trying to make it confusing. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do a little different. Last time I did my Thoth deck, which is a pretty good brutal deck. It's, it's very good about getting that. But I'm going to try to go at a different angle. This is a shadow deck is what I call it. Um, at, you know, most tarot readers, they may have a deck that is a little dark. Okay, because sometimes we want to get into those shadow type of areas, things that are a little bit unpleasant. Okay, so I'm going to use this deck to try to pick up on some things. I want a little bit, um, know a little bit more about maybe why this even happened in the first place, if it's possible to see that, any kind of messages. Now, since I was able to pick up on Morton and there is a Morton Steakhouse, after the read or kind of um, further into it, I am going to um, try to write down like some things here that I hear in my head. I will write them down and say them on the video because apparently that was very significant, especially for that to be right down the street. And I had not um, Google mapped or anything. I did not know that existed. So let's go ahead and look at this and see if I can get a little bit bigger picture. And I'm really concerned for this. This one, I mean, he is, he is so adorable. Um, you know, when he's only two years old and, you know, the, the fact that this is happening is very upsetting. So I've got the card, the Queen of Swords. Now, um, this actually makes me feel the mother. I want you to kind of look at that. She could be an air sign. It's quite possible. Um, you know, and one thing about the Queen of Swords, it is a sword, it is a weapon. And one of the things is they can be truthful at times and diplomatic, and other times they can be very dishonest. They can also spread a lot of rumors and things like that. So we've got a little bit of that energy that there are times with words and certain things, the queen may sometimes twist things a little bit around. So we want to kind of be prepared for that. You know, and I feel that with the mother, there's a lot of that going on. You know, if I make it even more confusing, it's going to be harder. Okay, so this makes sense. This is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups here, as you can see, there is two people there. These can be my soulmates. This makes me feel the mother and the boyfriend. This is in a reverse position. I feel there may have been a situation that popped up. Remember, I'm trying to get to the why, possibly, where these two had talked about parting ways. It could be possible that one of the things is having a child. Apparently, he is a pimp, is what everyone is saying. 
and she kind of works for him. So there's something going on with a business partnership as well. And maybe, you know, they were starting to get frustrated with this whole situation with the child, which if that's the case, why not give the child to the father? Uh, but I feel a little animus when it comes to that relationship. And that can be part of the reason that did not happen. Let me go ahead and look a little bit more. And yes, the Six of Cups, that often kind of notice that. It often represents children and childhood and so forth. Um, it can represent that. And then I do have the Page of Swords here. I feel this is to actually represent Amari. Notice they are the same suit. The Queen and the Page looks like. And they can often be a younger. They can be male or female. In this case, it is younger. So we've got the Childhood card here with the Six of Cups. We've got the page to represent Amari. What is the overlapping card? We've got the Three of Swords in the reverse position. Three of Swords is a heartache card. So obviously there is a much heartache around his missing and everything. And most likely looks like passing. So everybody is distraught over this and so forth. Everybody is and just wants him found. I do too. I do too as much as you guys, okay? Yeah, I see there there it is. There is the lovers. Now, this lovers, we talked to two of cups that represent the boyfriend and the mom, but the lovers represents the bio mom. Or be or be the mom and the bio dad, excuse me. Okay, that relationship. This is in the past position, and that is why it represents that. So let me look a little more. I've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position. Um, bio dad, no offense to if the family ever sees my video. But I've got some things here might not have been paid child support, might not have been being all that responsible. That could be part of the animus and, and some situations with that. Um, there may have been a little bit of that going on. I'm not sure if she um, had tried to apply for child support or this or that. He, maybe, though, maybe there's a situation where he felt like if I give her money, it's not going to go to Amari. I will give him that. Maybe that is a possibility you know, because I, I, I suspect a drug problem. But yeah, I've got the five of pentacles reversed here. So I feel like at the same time, he was put out in the cold. The five of pentacles can be to be put out in the cold. So I feel like she really tried to distance herself from him. And she felt this new boyfriend, let him be the father. Let him go in and do this situation. I don't want to deal with him. as she pushed him out. So now how hard he was trying to be in Amari's life. I know there was video chats and things, but um, he may have felt a lot of resistance with that. And that is part of the reason. So there's, there's, you know, the bio dad's not an angel, but at the same time, I mean, there's, there's a lot of tension and animus with this relationship, um, especially with the parting of ways that really, and there may have been, let me go ahead and look. Yes, I've got the tower reverse. And that's what they, I feel there was a little bit of violence in this relationship. This may have been mutual, mutual combat. Let's put it that way. Uh, the tower can be an explosion, but I feel like inevitably there was one blow that, that was too big. And, and that's the reason why they parted ways. So we kind of got to look at that and so forth. I know there's a lot of psychics on that. I've got the high priestess here and everything. I know it's kind of confusing. Everybody's got a story. But we do sadly have the Ten of Swords. It is in the reverse position. I can see that in a murder case, of course, with the Ten of Swords normally pierced in the back and so forth. And um, with the Queen of Cups in the reverse position, that makes me feel so it could be a sister of the bio dad. And I see that Queen of Cups in the reverse position. She makes me feel she's very drained and very exhausted. So if this is the aunt that they are accusing, um, definitely not true. Um, now I have this card with the Six of Pentacles. That is about receiving gifts and so forth. So I definitely, um, what that represents is that reward. Okay, they're willing to pay that reward money. So, you know, I've got this energy. She feels very drained. You know, they're being, they're accusing this family and so forth, but they're the ones putting up the money. And you got to think about that, guys. Like, if you were the one who did something terrible, why would you be the one putting up the money? I'm sure, I think it's 30000 and I'm sure this did not come along easy to be able to offer this money up, okay? It did not come easy. So this is not something 
you know, if they were going to do something, Mari, it's not like they would have to offer a reward. And so we got to kind of look at that. But I look at the Fool card and the Fool card kind of makes me feel um, the mom and the boyfriend both kind of they're just being foolish with this whole situation. They can't keep their story straight. Last read, the Seven of Swords came up as well. That is the betrayer. Now, let me pull up a little bit. Let me explain a little bit about Seven of Swords to people who don't understand tarot. It is a betrayer, but normally what happens is it's some kind of trickster. They may do something. It could be lie, cheat, steal, whatever, but it's a betrayal. But they normally leave some kind of evidence behind and they get caught. That's the good thing, okay? So most likely there is some kind of evidence that has been left behind that will go ahead and get them. I mean, it's one thing stories, this, that, spin a tale, but I feel there's some things that they really messed up on. There's some kind of evidence that was left behind. Now, one of the things I feel like, and um, whoops, I'm about to lose you guys. I feel with the ant, I'm pretty sure that they have an alibi, which they're, you know, these people aren't very smart. They're fools, right? I got the fool card. Um, in the sense that, you know, their story is not going to mash up, but they're going to come out more truthful. Um, but Bio Dad just has no reason. I mean, why all of a sudden would he come out here and be doing, you know, doing all this? Okay, there you go. Okay, I think I talked about this. Okay, in the mob's position is the chariot reverse. There was a card I wanted to see with that. Um, let me pull this up so I can get you guys in there. The chariot often is about grabbing the reins, taking control, going forward. I can also see it for a vehicle. Okay, you actually see it's a vehicle, a moving vehicle. And this is one of the things I had seen a PM of the mom. She's trying to get a car. So I was wondering, will she try to get out of Dodge? That is a possibility. That is a possibility, and the boyfriend shows as the Knight of Swords. Um, notice we had a queen, we had a page, and now we have a knight. And they can be very brutal and so forth, especially with the words and abusive. Okay, so we've got that kind of energy. So they could be all trying to get out of Dodge here and so forth. Um, I do like the fact there was a reversal, so I feel if they try, they will be stopped. Hence the reversal of the chariot. So if they try to get out of Dodge, if they somehow land a vehicle, um, they will be stopped. So I do not want you guys to worry about that. Oh, this is very interesting. All these swords come up. Let me go ahead and look in here. Give me a moment here. Let me look at this. Yeah, they're definitely thinking about traveling. And they might have a little outside help because I've also got the King of Swords. It makes me feel someone in the family may be trying to possibly help them. Because Three of Swords can be my traveling card. Or I mean, Three of Wands, excuse me, guys. Three of Wands can be a traveling card like getting far away. I look at that chariot, but I feel they will be stopped. That is a good thing. I want to go ahead and see a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. There is, there is, um, yeah, we got that death card again, unfortunately, guys. And we kind of knew that. The death is in the outcome. We knew that. We already knew that death card came up last time. The upper for me represents law enforcement. So I feel it's nice and upright. They're on this. They're going to work on it and so forth. But sadly, and this is why I like to draw the shadow cards. If you look at this image, this image just says it all what little Amari went through. And we've got that Knight of Swords, which, like I said, could be verbally abusive. So there was definitely some kind of thing. Um, this He was not in a good environment. You could, I mean, just look at the image. This is a child. This is somebody just yelling at him and so forth. And this is the Five of Cups, which can be about mourning a loss, is one of the other images that it can represent. And remember, we talked about the Two of Cups, to represent the soulmate relationship, we have two cups right there. But we have three cups spilled also with blood. And then we have the death card and law enforcement working on it. So he was in a pretty abusive um, type of situation already. And I feel like the main thing, the main reason I wanted to do this read, okay, is to talk a little bit about the bio and, and the mom and their kind of relationship. I, I definitely do feel he's not a saint, but he's not a hardcore center of taking this child. And I feel that that needs to, 
get out there. This family has nothing to do with it. Um, I'm sure this has surprised them like, you know, no other. And they just want him found. He's just, he's the, he's the sweetest looking little boy. He's just a sweet little boy and everything. And, but yeah, you can see shadow decks can be pretty hardcore guys. Um, they can be pretty hardcore. I'm going to grab my notebook, see if I can write anything. But yeah, that's what I feel. Um, I'm not necessarily getting accident vibe, unfortunately. So this feels more like a, very, a plan yet botched plan. They might have been high at the moment. It could have been a last minute thing, but it doesn't feel like I just lost my temper. I'm not necessarily getting that impression, but this feels more, I'm trying to make a plan. Like there's this, I, I guess the best way to explain, like, conveniently, she's going to go on a trip because these tickets are purchased, right? But all of a sudden, there will be a lose it and big blow and things like that. And, and I really feel that Amari was passed before she got there. I know there was somebody, one of the sleuths said that Grandma might have said they had video chatted with Amari. But a lot of people are very doubtful of that, and I am too. Let me see if I can. So we got Morton last time. I'm going to write that down. Um, and that could be Morton Steakhouse or there is a, like a Morton Avenue or Morton Lane out there. You guys can let me know. Okay. I'm going to try to listen in on stuff. Now, if I grab my phone, it's only because I'm trying to see if there could be a location out there. So, um... I'm writing the word sand down. So I do not know. Um, sand, I'm not sure if there could be. Sandusky is not quite exactly it. But I am writing the word sand down. So sand could be something in the area. That could be another building that's nearby. Maybe there's a name with the word sand in it. I'm writing the word Glen down, so I do not know if there is like a Glen something, Glen De Rosa. You have to understand, my hearing is sometimes I hear just a little bit. Don't ask me why. I don't understand the connection all the time. But sometimes I just, it's like a little whisper and everything, just like Morton came. So I feel like sand. I've got the word Glen, so I don't know if it's like a Glen De Rosa or, a, you know, something like that. And I don't even know if it has one or two ends. It's either Lila or Lilac. So I'm not sure if there is a street that is either Lila. Well, Lila is probably not, unless it's a name that's pertinent, but I've also got Lilac. So I'm not sure if there is a Lilac and there it could be a Lilac Avenue. Now, it could also be a place with a lot of Lilacs. I have to, I have to give that into consideration. It could be something like that as well. I'm also hearing the word steel. So steel could be, that is another one that it could be a street or maybe it could be a business, um, a business that sells steel, something like that, a steel worker kind of thing. Um, that is a possibility as well. That's probably the best I can get on that, guys. I wish I could get a little bit more. As far as, I know I took a little bit of grief for like, oh, psychics, this, that. I completely understand the skeptics, okay? I understand you. Um, I don't care about likes. As you can see, my YouTube is not that big. Um, I don't care about likes. I don't care about hits. If you don't like my video, you can give me a thumbs down. I'm totally fine with that. Um, I don't care about reward money. Even if for some reason, you know, somebody tried to give me reward money, I have to refuse it because of spirit. I can't do that. And most of most of us readers that do read missing person cases, uh, cases from time to time, we do not take money for it. We can't. We're not allowed, okay? So we don't care about that. I have a big enough clientele. I don't need more people. I do not care about that. Um, I have plenty of people. So gaining new customers, I could care less, okay? We just want them already found. And a lot of you are using your intuition. That is what you're doing. The only difference between me and you is maybe I have cards and I've been reading them for 20 years. And I may hear things or certain things, but you do too. Like you may have a hunch, an intuitive hit. You may watch that 
interview and you feel certain things, it's all the it's all the same thing because it's all the same source. Okay, guys, let's let's find Mari.